I'm here with Derby Telegraph Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson. Steve, it's January 1st, soon and the start of the next transfer window. Already lots of speculation involving Derby County. Yeah, January, don't you just love it? You know, uh, it seems to come out so quickly. Lots of speculation, as you say. There's been speculation around for weeks, maybe months now. Uh, Derby were big spenders in the summer, as you know. Uh, so they're always going to be linked with players at the moment. And uh, Paul Clement told me last week, and he told me again today, that you know they're ready for, for whichever eventuality, whether it means bringing players in or not, or players going out, they're ready for every eventuality. Uh, the latest name linked with them is a, is a lad called Abdul Kamara, who plays for Angers in France, a uh, 25-year-old forward, can play up front or, or wide, I believe. Uh, Reports in France are saying that a deal's close with Derby, and I've been doing some checking today, and he's certainly a player who's on their radar. Uh, I'm sure there'll be other players on their radar, so you can't guarantee one or the other. Uh, but he's on their radar. Uh, I understand the club's had good reports about him. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if that materialises or not. But we've got to remember that it wasn't that long ago they have been linked with Mikhail Antonio, you know, the former Forest player who was at West Ham and struggling to get starts at West Ham. So... You know, I wouldn't be surprised by anything that, that Derby might or might not do this window. Uh, as far as players going out, well, Simon Dawkins hasn't featured at all this season uh, in the league. He made one start in the League Cup. Uh, and it looks as though he'll be heading to the ex through the exit in January. Uh, I spoke to Paul Clement today about him and he said uh, that's, that's a possibility. He has been linked with a move back to the MLS where he played earlier in his career. So again, we'll see what happens there. But there are other loan possibilities as well because there are players not getting games at Derby. I mean, only today, uh, Alex Pearce and Jake Buxton played 90 minutes each for the under-21s. So there are a lot of players who, who might want to go out and play some football. So it promises to be interesting. And before then, of course, we've got a Boxing Day game uh, first up of the home match against Fulham. What's the Derby County team news for that match? Yeah, not, not much has changed really since the win at Ipswich. Uh, Scott Carson is still out, he's got this back problem and uh, as I said in, in my previous video, anyone who's had a bit of a back problem will know how delicate those things can be. Uh, he's still having treatment, so Lee Grant will continue. You know, Again, as I said before, no, absolutely no problem with that. Lee's a very experienced goalkeeper, he's made four starts on the bounce now. Derby have won two and drawn two and he's helped keep three clean sheets, so he'll carry on when Fulham visit the IPRO on Boxing Day. And Craig, Craig Bryson is still out, you know, he's first half of the season really has been obliterated by the knee injury he picked up at Bolton, you know, and he's trying to shake that off, so he's just stepped back from training for a couple of weeks to see if that'll help him. And finally, Steve, Fulham are struggling in the Championship, what, what did Paul Clement have to say about now? Yeah, interestingly, uh, they are struggling, they've not won in eight games, I think they've only won two of the last 14, so, you know, Everyone's looking at the game and thinking, oh, is this a whole banker again? Uh, I've said before many times, it's not quite straightforward as that. Fulham are the Championship's leading scorers. Uh, they've scored 36 goals, that's three more than Derby. But they've conceded, I think, 39 goals. You know, it's 26 more than Derby. You know, if you're conceding that many goals already this season, you are going to struggle. You know, I keep banging on about clean sheets. And the reason Derby are up in second place in the Championship at the moment is because the defensive record is absolutely excellent. So he's just warned against uh, Fulham's firepower, which of course is Ross McCormack and Moussa Dembele. Uh, they've got 24 goals between them. I think Cormac McCormack's got uh, 14 of them. He's always a threat. He's a very good player uh, at this level. So Paul Clance just warned against that. But as, as he said, and, and as we're all saying, Derby are defending so well at the moment, you know, there's no reason why they can't go on and, uh, and take the points on Boxing Day.